I'm going to LA this weekend. Monday morning blues. I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you home just to hear your voice on the phone. I think of you. It's been forever since our last trip, so I'm really, really excited to spend a few days in Los Angeles. The main reason we're gonna be there is because of the Streamer Awards, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically an award show for live streamers, and a lot of my favorite creators are gonna be there, which is pretty cool. Other than that, we're planning to hit up some cute coffee shops in Koreatown, of course, meet up with a couple friends, eat some yummy food, and just explore the city, so it's gonna be a fun time. I just packed my suitcase, but there's still a few things that I need to take care of before our road trip. The first is a haircut, and yes, your girl is finally getting a much needed haircut. I honestly don't even remember the last time that I stepped into an actual salon. I think the last professional haircut that I got was back in 2020, pre-COVID, so yeah. It's been a while. Obviously, the pink in my hair is super overgrown and my ends are dead. So I'm thinking of getting a cute little layered bob. My appointment isn't until tomorrow morning though, so I'll see you then. Okay, so I just made it to the hair salon. It's 10.48, my appointment's at 11. I'm excited to finally get a haircut. It's long overdue. Mm, You like it? Yeah, it looks really good. I just got my hair cut. I'm happy. I miss having short hair. Did a good job. Do you like it? I just got back from the hair salon about an hour ago, and this is how my hair turned out. Uh, now we're sharing this cake. Eat a straight from your lips, no plate. I'm first class, looking like a Barbie. All my friends, they really try to warn me, but I just want to know this with you. I absolutely love it and I genuinely just miss having short hair. It feels so light and healthy and just more myself, you know? Let me know what you think though. I'll probably dye my hair again at some point because I do miss the pink and maybe I'll try a new color, who knows? But yeah, I'm very happy with this. Anyway, I still have to pack a bit more for our trip. We leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I will see you when we're on the road.
we just made it to Kettleman City, which is basically the half point to Los Angeles. So we're like three hours away. So we're taking a little bit of a break and just stretching and yeah, we'll be there soon enough. Anyway, let's go find a bathroom. But I don't So we just made it to the Airbnb. The door's closed. So we just made it to the Airbnb. So I just finished getting ready. We're heading to the Streamer Awards in a bit. It starts at... What time does it start? I think it starts at like 5.30, but doors open at 4. It's around 2. I am so, so excited. And yeah, I'm wearing the same dress that I wore to the Grammys a couple of years ago. Luckily, it still fits. But yeah, I just finished my makeup and my hair. And then we'll be heading out.
sometimes there, there is like a singer that's like so good and I'm like oh. so if they like someone right and or they don't know how to express their emotions So I'm back from Los Angeles. We got home a couple of days ago actually. The very last day of our trip was really stormy so I was a little bit worried on our way back to the bay but luckily the weather cleared up during our drive and we got home safely. I do wish our trip was a little bit longer because everything just went by so quickly but I still had so much fun this past weekend. Lots of yummy Korean food, lots of coffee, maybe a little too much and just overall really good company so I'm very very happy happy I already can't wait for our next trip to SoCal, hopefully sometime soon. Anyway, as much as I do miss LA, I literally was so happy to be back in my own bed and art studio. You know that feeling when you get back from an Airbnb or hotel? Nothing really beats the feeling of being in the comfort of your own home. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog. If you're from SoCal and have any recommendations of places or cute cafes that we should check out the next time we're there, please let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more cozy content and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone! You are everything. Oh.